हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम विद्या कोठेकर अ फॉर्मर प्रोफेसर ऑफ बायोफिजिक्स फ्रॉम ऑल इंडिया इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिकल साइंसेस दिल्ली आई एड ऑल्सो बीन प्रोफेसर ऑफ बायो इन्फॉर्मेटिक्स एट जे पी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी Narda and professor of bioinformatics and director of Dr. D Y Patil Biotechnology and Bioinformatics Institute. What is my main identity? I have been teaching biophysics for more than last forty-five years. Today we are going to discuss about a module. सर्क्युलर डी एन ए टाइप्स ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ आर एन ए एम आर एन ए आर आर एन ए एंड टी आर एन ए दिस कम अंडर द पेपर बायोमोलिक्यूल्स एंड देर इंटरैक्शन एज यू नो डी एन ए मॉलिक्यूल हैज एन इनहेरेंट टेंडेंसी of twisting bending and supercoiling like an elastic crow a circular dna was first discovered in a polyoma virus it is a typical super secondary or tertiary structure of dna it is now recognized form of bacterial and cytoplasmic dna and giant dna molecules from animals these usually form loops which are held together by protein fastener a typical feature of circular dna is that its conformational state cannot be destroyed easily dear students let me first explain you what are we going to learn in this module first let me introduce you to the existence of circular dna in nature then i wish to detail on the experimental determination of topological parameter lk for circular dna and supercoiled dna i also wish to explain you the disruptions in the circular dna structure later i wish to describe replication of circular dna then we'll be seeing the different types of structures of rna i want to enumerate structures of mrna rrna and trna circular dna there are two forms of circular dna the form one is the most compact form where both strands of dna are intact in this form each of the two strands is closed in itself the form 1 can turn into form 2 after breaks are introduced we depict in this picture a closed circular dna with linking number lk equal to 20 there are two linking numbers lk and lk0 the two strands of circular dna belong to a torus family and are linked the quantitative description of such topology is described by linking number lk latter is different from lk0 which is the 
number of crosses in the relaxed state, which is n upon gamma, where n is the total number of base pairs in the molecule and gamma, the number of base pairs per turn in a particular environment. Superhelix density sigma. Lk can be calculated by taking projection of circular DNA on an imaginary surface. Most of the topological properties of circular DNA can be determined by delta Lk which is equal to Lk minus Lk0. It is more convenient to define superhelix density sigma. Sigma is equal to delta Lk divided by Lk0 or gamma times delta Lk divided by n. Latter does not depend on the length of the sequence. Deformation in circular DNA. When the value of delta Lk is not equal to 0, the closed circular DNA is considered to be supercoiled. Entire double helix is stressed. Latter can lead to either change in actual number of bases per turn in closed circular DNA or can cause deformation. Supercoiling can be structurally realized in two ways. By deforming the molecular axis and by altering the twist of the double helix. What is twist and rethe? Mathematical relationship for super twisted DNA was given by Kalugarino, White and Fuller, who introduced the term twist and rethe. According to them, LK is a sum of two components. Twist, TW, seen in normal wax-centric DNA, and Rethe, WR, is the number of times strand spins about itself. LK is equal to TW plus WR. Experimental determination of delta LK. Sedimentation coefficient measurement is one of the techniques used for the determination of linking numbers. The value of delta LK can be determined by measuring sedimentation coefficient S over a large range of pH in the presence of dye, which is for circular DNA, has a negative supercoiling. A typical example is use of intercalators. We show in this picture DNA unwinding by classical intercalator. Here on the left hand side is normal DNA and Side by side of it is a DNA which is unwound by the incorporation of intercalator and the structure of the complex of intercalator with DNA duplex is shown in the right hand side figure where intercalator goes in between the base pair and unwinds DNA. We can use intercalators for determination of LK or delta LK values. The experimental approach is based on the fact 
that supercoiling makes DNA a more compact form. It increases its mobility in gel or the sedimentation constant. This method was developed by Pinograd and co-workers in 1965. They use the titrations of supercoil circular DNA by an intercalating dye. Let us see how can we use intercalator to determine the value of delta LK. The dye reduces rotational angle between base pairs. As the more number of such molecules bind to DNA, the tension between the negatively supercoiled DNA is relieved and DNA becomes more and more relaxed. The conformation of DNA then becomes less compact. This causes decrease in DNA mobility, which can be registered using intercalator. Use of intercalators to determine delta LK. When the number of laggard molecules per base pair exceeds nu, given by the expression nu equal to 360 degrees multiplied by delta LK into phi n, where phi is the change of angle between adjacent base pairs due to dye, the tension will start rising again. As a result, mobility has a minimum value nu, given by the above expression. If we know the value of phi for the dye, for example, Ethidium bromide has phi equal to minus 26 degrees. We can calculate value of delta LK. The typical example is shown in this picture. Here, the dependence of sedimentation coefficient on amount of bound lag and per base pair N is plotted. The ratio of sedimentation coefficient of supercoiled and closed circular DNA is actually plotted and we see a dip reaching a minimum value at a particular value of n. The value of delta k in any mixture of DNA and topoisomerase can differ by an integer only. So this is used using the electrophoresis technique to determine delta LK. The electrophoretic mobility of DNA is very sensitive to the conformational changes that under appropriate experimental conditions, molecule with difference in delta LK of 1 produce separate bands in the electrophoretic pattern. If DNA sample contains all possible topoisomerases with delta k from 0 to some limiting value and then they are all well resolved with respect to mobility, one can find the value of delta LK. We show in this picture gel electrophoretic separation of a PU C19 DNA combination. The mixture of topoisomerase covering the range of delta LK from 0 to minus 8 was electrophoresed from a single well in 1% agarose from top to bottom. The figure is from Vologotskaya from Wiki. Use of 2D electrophoresis in presence of a dye. The technique can be used to determine delta LK. A mixture of DNA 
antipoisomerases is loaded into a well at the top of the left corner of a jail and electrophorist in left side of the jail. The bands corresponding to topoisomerase with a large delta LT merges into a single large spot. After that, the gel is transferred into a buffer with chloroquinine and electrophorist into a second time in the horizontal direction. The mobility of ligand in the second time is determined by an expression delta LK minus N gamma phi divided by 360 degrees. We show in this picture separation of U C19 DNA to poisomers by two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. This can be used to calculate linking number delta LK. The linking number depends on ambient conditions in solution such as temperature and ion concentration and 2D electrophoresis method is extremely useful for this. Disruption of circular DNA structure. The circular DNA can have distortion in the structure. The torsional and bending deformation is distributed over holophysics. There can be local distortion in the structure. All these alternative structures have a smaller compared with the canonical B form of DNA interwinding of one strand of the DNA relative to other strand. Disruption in circular DNA. We give another example. The simplest type of structures which are introduced by negative supercoiling are melted or open regions where complementary DNA strands are not interwoven. This is shown in the picture below where quite a big part of the DNA is melted or not interwoven. Such regions appear first of all in all the DNA sections enriched with eighty base pairs because Melting of AT base pairs requires less free energy than does the melting of GC pairs. In palindromic region of DNA, crucified structures may appear. Complementary strands of DNA are not twisted related to each other in crucified structures. Another kind of distortion in supercoiled DNA is crucified forms formation. You may know what is crucifixion? It is cross. So in this structure, the free energy corresponding to the free energy of the linear double helix is seen. That is how these forms are more tendency or they have more tendency to form because there is no consumption of energy. This is the reason why formation of a long enough crucified structure is preferable to the formation of open sections of the same size. We show in this picture formation of crucified forms in palindromic sequence of DNA. Here we show a palindromic sequence DNA and below on the right hand side is the crucified structure formed by the palindromic sequence. There are other deformations, G and H forms of DNA. The maximum release of negative superhelix stress per base pair causes formation of the Z DNA 
in the region of regular alteration of purines and pyrimidines such as GC. This was observed by Nobel laureate Alexander Witt in 1994. Another type of non-canonical structure occasioned by the negative supercoiling is the HDNA form, which may occur in DNA sections where one strand comprises only of purines and the other only of pyrimidine based pairs. How does the replication of circular DNA take place? Most of the bacterial chromosomes have a circular DNA where the ends are always closed. After replication, the progeny of circular chromosome can sometimes remain interlinked or tangled. They must be resolved so that each cell inherits one complete copy of chromosome during the cell division. Replication of circular DNA by rolling circle. It is unidirectional DNA replication that can rapidly multiply and create multiple copies of circular DNA or RNA molecules. The process is seen in eukaryotic viruses. This has great implication in biotechnology for DNA application. The rolling circle is initiated by an initiator protein encoded by a plasmid or a bacteriophage in circular DNA at a site called double-stranded DNA or DSO. The initiator protein remains bound to 5-phosphate end of the next strand. The free 3 dash strand is released as a primer. Using the unnicked strand as a template, the replication proceeds around the circular DNA molecule, displacing the next strand as a single stranded DNA. We show in this picture the rolling circle replication. The displacement of the next strand is carried out by host of encoded helicases called PCRA in the presence of plasmid replication protein. The continued DNA synthesis can produce multiple copies of single-stranded original DNA in a continuous head-to-tail series called contactamer. It is shown in this picture. The displacement of the linked DNA and formation of the new DNA. Types of structures of RNA. RNA is found in several viruses such as wound tumor virus, rice shunt virus, rio virus, etc. These exhibit long double helical stretches which could be studied by fiber x ray diffraction technique. There are different types of RNA molecules mRNA or a messenger RNA is essentially a copy of a section of DNA serves as a template for manufacturing of proteins. rRNA or ribosomal RNA is found in ribosomes. tRNA transfer RNA binds to both messenger RNA and amino acid building blocks of the protein and brings out correct amino acid into the growing polypeptide chain during protein formation. Based on the nucleotide sequence in mRNA in 
chromosome. RNA structure, RNA is usually a single stranded molecule. Short double helical stretches are found in tRNA, rRNAs and synthetic homopolymers such as poly A, poly U or poly I, poly C. All purine poly A, poly I form triple helices at high salt condition with Watson Creek and Hookstein base pairs simultaneously. A and A dash RNA. RNA usually forms A type of structure. There is no BRNA. There are two families A and A dash. The third alternative structure a 2 dash RNA with non integral number of base pairs per turn 11.3 plus and minus 0.5 has also been proposed. A RNA and A dash RNA exhibit Watson Crick base pairing. We show in this table comparison of structural parameters of A and A dash RNA. For example, axile rise, it is 2.73 to 2.81 in A RNA, but it's 3 and strong in A dash RNA. Base rise per turn, or base per turn, 11 in A RNA and 12 in A dash RNA. Twist angle is 32.8 to 33 in A RNA and 30 degrees in A dash RNA. Pitch is 30 and strong in A RNA, 36 and strong in A dash RNA. And base tilt is 16 to 19 degrees in A RNA, similar to A DNA, and 10 degrees in a dash RNA. Base pair geometry. The single crystal X ray diffraction studies have been reported on dinucleotide duplexes APU and GPC by Seaman and Rosenberg. It showed vast centric base pairing. As a matter of fact, DNA base pair geometry discussed earlier was established on the basis of 3D structure of RNA duplexes. RRNA RRNA or ribosomal RNA is a component of ribosome. It is a predominant component. There are other components like proteins. RRNA consists of 60% by weight Proteins are only 40% by weight. There are two major RRNA and 50 or more proteins. The major subunits of RNA are small subunit SSU and large subunit LSU. These are complexed with the proteins in the ribosomes. RRNA. The mRNA is sandwiched between SSU and LSU of RRNA. The subunit from prokaryotic E. coli and eukaryotic human data is shown in the table below. Like for example, in prokaryotic RNA in E. coli, the size 70 s, the large units are 50 s and the small unit is 30 s and so on. 
whereas in eukaryotic the size is bigger it is 80s the large unit is in 60s and where a small unit is 40s and like that we show in this picture 16s ribosomal subunit and the atomic level details of the structure were given by picolati pdb id 1i94 this picture was published in 2004 and the structure was obtained in the presence of tetracycline adn and if3 it can be very easily noticed that the structure has significant level of secondary structure the secondary structure of our rna is very important there are various methods for doing so the bacterial 16s rrna secondary structure by wuz et al is shown in the picture on the left hand side this model is based on phylogenetic enzymatic and chemical evidence the rfarm database gives the details of many rna structures there are many prediction programs available on the net where we can predict the secondary structure if we know the sequence of rna and i am showing here a typical site by gene b for rna structure prediction for those interested in it can go to the site given there and try to predict the secondary structure of rna tRNA ribosome has three binding sites called a p and e the a site in the ribosome binds to an amino acyl tRNA all tRNA molecules have similar structure they usually have 73 to 93 amino acids C dash end terminal with CCA end is characterized by D arm with a loop, anticodon arm and a loop, a variable loop, T C A C arm and a loop, and CCA acceptor arm. We show in this picture the typical cloverleaf model of tRNA. In this case. the oh of the 3 dash ribose of a is the point of attachment of the amino acid the details of the structure to be discussed in the next module so i won't go much into the details of the structure so students what have we learned today in this module first we have described here circular dna its distortion what are the kind of distortions in the circular dna then replication of circular dna how does it replicate this is used very much in the biotechnology for dna amplification we have seen mathematical expression for lk the linking number we have elaborated on technique of sedimentation coefficient measurement and electrophoresis in the presence of a dye for estimation of the linking number nk we have also discussed 2d electrophoresis technique with topoisomerases for the estimation of linking number we have also learned different structures of rna you know rna 
is equally important as DNA because DNA is more involved in transfer of genetic information, whereas RNA is involved in the control of synthesis of polypeptides. We have seen structures of RNA in viruses, synthetic RNA polymers, M or messenger RNA, T or transfer RNA, and R, the ribosomal RNA. We are also given a brief description of the secondary structure prediction of our RNA. There are plenty of sites available, but we have discussed one specific site by giving example. So, students, let me thank you for your kind attention and learning this important topic in nucleic acids. Thank you.